Hi there guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this really smart fiery text in Photoshop CS4 or CS5. In the new CS5 now, and I'm just going to go up and go to File, New. And I'm just going to make it about 1500 by 900, and I'm just going to click OK. Uh, make sure your colour is MGB, I think it is, well, just so you can choose colours. But when you're here, you're just going to click Control and Backspace to make it black. And that's just using that. Or you can go along and hold down this, and you can use the Paint Bucket tool if that's not working for you. Um, after that, we just need to add our text. Right, you want to make sure this is white. Oh, it's good. And then after that, you're going to want to go to edit, sorry, no, sorry, you're going to go here, and you're going to right click, and you're going to click duplicate layer, it's going to say OK, and then you're just going to hide that one. And then after that, you're just going to go to edit, transform, wherever the hell that is gone, oh sorry, uh, make sure you're on the layer, um, not the copy, but the actual layer one. And then you're going to edit transform and then flip 90, degree, 90 degrees clockwise. And then once you've done that, you're going to go to filter, stylize, and wind. And then you're going to go OK. And then you're going to choose from the left. And you'll click OK. Then you go back to filter, wind. And then one more time. So it looks like this. And then you're going to go to edit, um, transform, and rotate 90 clock counterclockwise. So it's back to normal, you just move it back into place. Um, then after that, I'm just going to go to Filter, Blur, Gauge and Blur, and just make sure it's around 7, 6, something like that, 6.6, 6, something like that. And I'm just going to click OK. So it looks something like this. And then after that, you um, make sure you click on this and click New Layer. And um, once you've done that, so we can add uh, the fire coming off it you want to go to image and apply image and everything should just be all right you should click okay so once that's done um you're gonna go to you're gonna click control and u and it's gonna bring up this um hue saturation you're gonna click colorize here and you're gonna choose saturation all the way to the top and then hue you're gonna change it to 18 so it's this orange colour and you're going to click OK. And then after that you're going to go to Filter, Liquify. And it's going to bring it up like this and you're going to choose the brush size about 60 at first. And then you're just going to pull up. You're going to hold down and just pull off. You can flick it and do what you want. And then you're going to just take it down to about 30, add some smaller ones. And then you can take it down to about 15, and then you're just going to get all the fine little, little ones then. And you can go inside of here. Uh, so get some little ones and you know spend time on it make sure it actually looks right don't just rush it make sure it looks good it won't look that good now but then once you finish you're just going to click ok and then it'll do this and then it'll look something like this and then if you go back to this copy and you're going to just wait, click this and i don't know where it is all right i'm just going to delete that layer and once you're here on top of layer one you're just going to click new layer and I'm just going to add some text, and it should be the same size as the one before. And then I'm just going to take it on top. And you can just move it into place, so that looks about right. You can leave it as like that, that looks smart. But I'm just going to go up here, and I'm going to click Overlay. And then I'm going to go up again, and click Soft Light. And as you can see, it goes in. Um, so that's the tutorial guys, it's really easy and as you can see it looks really smart. 
So thanks guys, and um, please subscribe. See ya.